Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is what do you mean by RICEF W or W RICEF? What is the meaning of this terminology RICEF W or W RICEF? One of the most common terminology, one of the most widely used terminology and one of the most important terminology in each and every project of SAP. Whenever you will work in a project, yes, you will always listen that term. How many RICEF W objects are there? How many W RICEF object we need to develop for this particular customer? So what is RICEF W? SAP technical objects are divided into six different categories. In SAP, the technical objects are into six different categories. Now, what do you mean by technical object? Technical object means, suppose I am developing a report. It is a technical object itself. Suppose I am developing a layout. It is a technical object itself. So whatever the objects you are developing, it always, always fall under any of these categories. SAP has total six different categories based upon the technical objects. Now, what is R? R stands for reports. I stands for interfaces. C stands for conversion. E stands for enhancements. F stands for forms. W stands for workflow. Now, if I am using the term W RICEF, one and the same thing. Just you will speak workflow at the first and rest you will speak after that. Because in many projects, they will use the term RICEF W. Many projects use the term W RICEF. There is no difference between both of them. Now, the first question which comes into everyone's mind, why, why we have a concept of RICEF W? Why there is a concept in SAP for this particular RICEF W term? Suppose simple, SAP is a product. It means in SAP, lots of technical objects are already given by SAP. If you see this SAP product, Billion trillion of programs are already available. Similarly, lots of forms are available. Lots of enhancements are already available. But why, why we are developing our own things? See, SAP has given lots of things. But if customer is asking for a requirement which is not given by SAP, which is not available into SAP standard functionality. It means you need to develop that particular thing by our own. So whenever we will develop that particular thing, it will fall under a particular category. Suppose customer is asking for a report and which is not given by SAP. It means that technical object will fall under which category R. Suppose SAP has not given a form and we are developing a form based upon a customer requirement. It means that technical object form which we are developing, it will go into which particular category form. So why, why we are going for this RICEF W? Because SAP has given lots of things, but SAP cannot cover based, cannot cover the requirements of a specific customer because customer requirement always changes from time to time. Customer is asking for different things which cannot be available into standard SAP. It means we will develop by our own. Now in every project, why you are developing? Because there is a gap, gap. In project, you will always listen that term. Yes, there is a gap. Why? That's why we are developing. So what is gap? SAP has not given that thing. You are developing. There is a gap. That's why you are developing. And based upon the category of that gap, gap means 
if there's a gap in the report, if there's a gap in the form, if there's a gap in the interface, we will develop that particular RICEFW item. Now I will read the theory and you will get the more, more clarity. When the business requirement or it means client requirement is not fulfilled by standard SAP, it means you require a RICE FW. You need to create your own report. You need to create your own interface. You need to create your own conversion, enhancement, form, workflow, because that is not given by SAP. The requirement which cannot be satisfied by standard SAP, they are called as gaps. And based upon the category of the gap, we will develop the object in the form of RICEFW. Most important terminology of the project, especially those who are working in implementation project, they will always listen that term that we have 200 RICEFW object. It means those 200 are not given by SAP, are not available in standard SAP. That's why we are developing. Yes. Firstly, we always, always check the scope in SAP. If SAP has provided, then we will not develop by our own. We will simply, simply use the thing which is given by SAP. Now, we will go for each and every category one by one. We will understand the meaning of each and every category. Now, first is R. R stands for reports word itself is saying with the help of reports you can display the information in the required format so whenever we want to display the information in the required format we will always always develop a report and why we will develop a report if the business requirement is not fulfilled by standard sap report then based upon customer requirement, we will develop the custom reports. And whenever you will develop your own reports or any technical object, their first name always start with Z or Y. Now I'm saying reports into required format. Sometimes customer ask for classical reports. Sometimes customer ask for ALV reports. Depends upon the customer requirement. When you start learning the videos, you will find the classical reports also. You will find the ALV reports also. We have dedicated playlists where you will find the classical reports and ALV reports. Now we will move on to next thing. Interfaces. One of the most, most important thing. Now why we require a interface? See, this is SAP. We have a interface. So interfaces are used to transfer that data or we can say to move that data from SAP to non-SAP, non-SAP to SAP and SAP to SAP also. So interface works in all the directions, all the directions. So word itself is saying we are interfacing SAP. So interfacing of SAP means it will be interface to non-SAP. It will be interface from non-SAP to SAP. It will be interface from SAP to SAP also. So interfaces are used to transfer that data from non-SAP to SAP, SAP to non-SAP and SAP to SAP also. Now just think. Why, why we require a interface? Just go for real world example. Go for any site or anything. Suppose you are putting some data. You are filling your username, password, date of birth, something, something you are filling. So suppose your front end is using, suppose, Java technology. Java is what? Non-SAP. But whenever you will save, that data will save to SAP. See, this is your non-SAP, this is your SAP, but how these two systems will communicate, whatever you are putting from the Java-based platform, how it will save into SAP, there must be some interface. That's why we require a interface. Now just go for next scenario. 
suppose you save that data next time you want to display that data but your data is in sap it means that data from sap should go to non sap system so at that time also you require a interface so interfaces are very very important on daily basis suppose simple example we have a suppose retail company or suppose we have a uh, we have a company which is receiving lots of orders every day now you are creating order through non sap platform but the data of those orders always always stores into sap system it means whenever you will create a order the data will save into sap at that time the interfaces are used to transfer that data now in the we have a dedicated playlist for cross applications where you will find all the interfaces like papi rfc idocs these all are your interface so all cross applications are the part of interfaces so you can learn all the interfaces with the help of cross applications playlist